And standard on our 7x20 is going to be a power tongue jack, 20-pound uh, LP tanks. You can option in 30-pound LP tanks if you would like. Uh, here on the front, we also have uh, dual battery trays so that if you need to be able to carry extra batteries with you, you can do so. Uh, one of the big things that we've introduced this year to the Living Life product is we've actually moved into a uh, fiberglass option, which is going to be a high, high gloss gel coat. Uh, exterior uh, infused fiberglass. Uh, it's going to be a premium fiberglass that we use in all of our products uh, across the board. Uh, we try to accommodate with a higher stone guard than most in the industry uh, to protect against debris and things that may fly up off the vehicle or anything that would fly up off the road. Uh, another thing that we've done this year is we've actually went to a larger doors uh, for st storage area. Uh, these are going to be radius slam latch baggage doors so that you can put your things through the side of the uh, coach here uh, for loading and unloading to make it a little bit more accommodable. Um, power awning is an option. Uh, it is an option. Is the standard uh, manual is going to be standard on all of our toy haulers. Uh, we, have, we offer you an exterior receptacle uh, to be able to plug in televisions or anything that you may be wanting to use outside. And then some of the other great things that we've introduced this year is we've actually went to a friction hinge door, so it's not going to slam shut on you. You don't have to worry about it actually uh, getting caught in the wind, and you don't have to worry about a strut ripping off of the door. Um, it's got a screen, the screen door that's built in here, larger grab handle. Um, one of the big things, like I was saying, uh, with our windows is it's going to be a dual, dual acrylic uh, tinted window. These actually open a full 90 degrees, so it's a great benefit to be able to have those fully open, to have great cross ventilation, so that you're not having to run the air conditioner all the time. Um, we use an aluminum diamond plate skirting around the perimeter of it uh, to protect it. That way, if you do brush up against anything, it's not harming the unit. Uh, aluminum fender skirts, uh, off-road uh, option. We do an off-road option. Uh, standard 15-inch tires. Uh, this has got the 15 inch tires all terrain style. Uh, we use a Dexter torsion axle instead of a sprung axle. Uh, we use nitro filled tires to be able to uh, help keep uh, air pressure to the proper pressure so that they don't uh, deflate or inflate in transit. One big feature benefit about the toy haulers is being able to do the optional deck. I highly recommend doing the optional deck. It gives you a little bit more accommodation, uh, outside eating, uh, a little bit more uh, area to actually in, have in your campsite as well as be able to take the family set up a couple of chairs out here and enjoy the outside. We offer a uh, pull down screen which is going to be standard in all of our toy haulers uh, and then the gating also be able to keep things from rolling off or somebody falling off and help protect people so that they're not hurting themselves. Then here on the off door side we've actually introduced putting another storage compartment for you to be able to put more things in uh, so that you can actually easily access it. Uh, we've got the outside hot and cold shower, uh, tank flush, city water fill, and Furion solar prep. Uh, and then we use a gas electric six gallon uh, water heater. Uh, then as we go around the side here, uh, we've got your dump ports as well as your sewage container uh, for your hose. Uh, LED lights around the exterior as well as throughout the interior. We use gutter spouts on both sides of the unit to help deflect the water so it's not just running down the side of the unit. Uh, 30 amp uh, shore cord on all of our 7x20s, uh, 50 amp service on anything larger than a 7x20 or 7x18.